I, I, for people who've done functional medicine education, have you ever realized that a lot of people who achieve great things are just kind of jerks? You're like Steve Jobs, not a nice guy, right? Not nobody's like Steve Jobs, so nice. Oh, he's just the nicest person I've ever talked to. He's so, no, no. A lot of people who are just these trailblazing genius level people are not, you know, gentle and kind and always say everything nice. And and I remember I was at a seminar being led by one of these these people, and he said we were at kind of a mixed thing. He's like. Okay, so you hormone people, you think every problem's hormones. Every time you come in, it's all hormones. All hormones, every problem's hormones. Hormones are the most important. And you neurology people, you think neurology is the most important. Oh, the brain, you just fix the brain, it's just the brain, it's this. It's like, then you got your you know, gut people, oh, just fix the gut. It's just all about the gut, do the gut. And you got your metal people, just detox everybody. It's all about metals, it's metals, it's metals. Because you guys are also prejudiced. It's like everything is just what you do. He goes, this is not a good system. And so he really challenged us in a very, I think he was trying to offend people to try to wake people up, right? Because when you're in this lecture with, you know, hundreds of other medical professionals, he's trying to like shake the boat a little bit. And so I came to the realization of, although I love functional medicine, it has some limits. And what was interesting was functional neurology really was where I was hitting a lot of these limits. So let's use chronic fatigue, for example. We started putting step counters um, on people with chronic fatigue. So you know, how many steps are these people taking? And you know, goal for a lot of active people is 10,000 steps a day, right? That's a pretty good, a lot of workplaces will do that, they'll work for that. And we would put our chronic fatigue people on step counters. I remember I had someone at 300 steps a day, right? And most of my chronic fatigue people, honestly, were lower than 1,500. So they're very, very low steps. And I realized that if you're not getting the neurological signal to go, your body, I can give you all the nutrition in the world and your body doesn't do anything with it. And so we came to this realization with so many problems in functional medicine, there comes this time where, okay, the basic equation for health is eat some good food, Put some good things in your body, and supplements are really just a form of food, but put some good things in your body, move. Go do something, go have a purpose, both, both um, physically movement and you know, cognitively movement. And we were hitting all these obstacles with trying to implement these parts of the program. And so what happened is we found with functional neurology, we just got better results. I started referring to a colleague of mine who did some functional neurology, working with people on their balance, working with people on some of their brain functions, especially unconscious brain function. If your unconscious brain function, your balance, your eye movements, all these other things are off, what happens is your brain works so hard to try and fix it, you feel exhausted. <laughs> and you can't really think about anything else. So you feel brain fog. You feel like you, you're not smart because your brain's literally using all its power to correct all these you know, subtle kind of behind the scenes things that used to work perfectly well. So I started just referring back and forth to Dr. Paul and I found my people with functional medicine got great results with when I got stuck with them that I, they started to do neuro and they saw these new improvements and we got to better levels of health and better levels of function in their daily life. Similarly, Dr. Paul was frustrated because he was doing some rehab with people and some people he just couldn't get progress on and he couldn't get him to hold things and and he says that well you know if you if I try to do exercise with you but you literally like don't have testosterone to have healthy testosterone levels when you work out you'll get more muscle growth if you have no inflammation and good nutrition your brain's gonna work so much better when you try to do brain therapy and that's what he found too is we found that there's this nice interaction between I need some nutrition I need some good things happening in my body and then I need to ask my body to do some things. And there's this play back and forth between the two you kind of need. So in our clinic, we really find that the neurology and the nutrition work beautifully well together for our people.